Hi guys, welcome to Code Bashers. So guys, as you all know that Cognizant Technical Assessment is starting from 15th of September. So I have started this Cognizant Technical Preparation Series on my YouTube channel, wherein I am discussing the, the previously asked questions of different different sections. If you will see previously, so in this particular playlist, you will find that two SQL coding co videos I have already posted. One previously asked coding question video I have already posted and this is the second video in which I will be discussing the latest coding questions and the PYQs part 2. So total two coding questions also I will be discussing in this video. So guys make sure that you are watching this video till the end because each and every question that I am discussing in these videos is important for you because it will help you understand the pattern and the level of the questions which can be asked from you in the actual exams. So don't skip any part of this video. Make sure to watch this video till the end and guys on, on this YouTube channel you can see here we have a dedicated playlist for cognizant preparation playlist. So in this particular playlist whether it is the aptitude section, whether it is the communication section, whether it is the SQL or coding section. So for every section we have discussed the previous year questions and at least two to three videos you will find in this playlist only. Okay, the, this video that I'm making also you will find under this playlist only. So guys now let's start this video. Before starting it, as I have told you, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button for this channel because continuously we will be posting previous year question videos on this channel, okay, for different different sections, okay. You have any doubts, you can write in the comment section or you can join this telegram group because lot of discussions regarding Cognizant, Capgemini, Delta X are happening in this particular group. So this link I will give you in the description box and also during this video I will be telling you if you want to practice the previous year questions in bulk how you can do so okay so now let's start this video okay so guys first of all I will be discussing the question then the approach of that question and finally the coding part of that question so the first question of this uh, video is you are given an integer array a representing the pulse strength of incoming end data packets you have to process these values using a stack where each pushed element tracks the pulse skip count that is the number of smaller or equal elements removed before it was pushed okay below are the processing rules for each element that is the current element remove elements from the stack until the stack is empty or the current element is greater than or equivalent to the top of the stack okay next is count the number of elements removed this becomes the pulse skip count for a of i Push A of I along with its skip count onto the stack. Your task is to find and return an integer value representing the total sum of pulse skip count for all the processed elements in the sequence. So guys, I know this particular question can be overwhelming for you. But guys, see, there will be always a big story that will be given to you in the coding question. But that is useless. That story that is given to you, this pulse count, this is useless. You just have to focus on the conditions that is uh, that, that are given. And based on that condition only, you will be able to solve the question. See, in simple terms, in simple terms, if I have talked, if I will tell you that what this coding question, what, what this question is saying. So you have an array of elements. Let's just take an example. Uh, example one only it is given. So three, one, four, two, five, one. These are the array elements. So what it is saying, you have to maintain a stack. You have to maintain a stack and you need to follow these rules. One, two, three, these rules. And in the end, you have to return a value. So let's just see what it is saying. So for each element A of I in the sequence, remove elements from the stack until the stack is empty or the current element is greater than or equal to the top of the stack count the number of elements that were removed this becomes the pulse skip count for a of i so let's just take it simple so first element is 3 so what does the first tool say remove elements from the stack either until the stack is empty or the current element is greater than the top of the stack so the first element is 3 so in this case is there any element present in the stack answer is no so we will let's take we will take a variable called count also this will count the pulses. Okay, I will tell you what it is. So first element is three. So three we have pushed directly in it because before three there was nothing in the stack element. Next come one. So one. So again first condition remove the elements from the stack until the stack is empty or the current element current element is one is greater than or equal to the top of the stack. So is the current element greater than or equal to the top of the stack? Answer is no. One is not greater than three. So again, we will add this one also inside the stack. Next element is four. So again, so what it's saying, remove elements from the stack till 
the stack is empty or a of i is greater than the top of the stack. So is 4 greater than 1? So answer is 1. Uh, answer is yes. So yes, 4 is greater than 1. That is the top of the stack. So what we'll do? We will do count plus plus. Count will become 1 because it was initialized with 0. We will remove this number from here. Now again we will check. So is 4 greater than the top of the stack? It is 3. Top of the stack is 3. So answer is yes. So 4 is greater than 3. So 3 will be removed. So once we are removing an element, we are just simply counting. We are incrementing the count by 1. Okay. So now again we will check whether the 4 is greater than top of the stack. So there is empty stack. So in this case what we will do, we will add 4 to it. Next we will go to 2. So we will check whether 2 is greater than the top of the stack. Answer is no. 2 is not greater than 4. So we will simply add 2 here. Next come 5. So is 5 greater than, the top, greater than the top of the stack? That is 2. Yes, answer is yes. So the count will become 3 and we will, we will remove 2 from here. Now again we will check whether 5 is greater than the top of the stack. Answer is yes. So in this case again we will increment the count with 1. We will increment the count with 1 and we will remove the 4, 4 from here. And we will put 5 here. 5 inside the stack. Next comes 1. So again we will check. Whether 1 is greater than the top of the stack? Answer is no. So we will simply put 1 here. In the end what is saying? Your task is to find and return an integer value representing the total sum of the pulse skip counts for all the processed elements. It is nothing but this value. So count 4 will be returned here. And you can see in the sample example, count is 4. So now if you try to understand the question what it says, it is simple that when the current element is greater than or equal to the top of the stack, just remove the elements from the stack and increment the count by 1. Okay, so when once we are removing the elements from the stack, it means we are counting the skip count. We are skip counting that particular value. It is explained here also. If you will look closely, explanation is also given here. Here there are six packets for three. Since it is the first element, so it will go directly into the stack. Skip count is zero. Next is uh, one. So one is less than three. So stack will be three and one. The skip count will be zero because it was initialized with zero only. Next is four. So four. Once 4 is there, so we will remove all the smaller elements from the stack which are less than 4. So 1 and 3 are removed. So you can see skip count becomes 2 here. And stack value becomes 4 here. Next is 2. So 2 is less than 4. So 2 will again be added to the stack only. Next is 5. So in inside the stack there were 2 and 4. So next value was 5. So the value smaller than 5 will be removed. So 4 and 2 will be removed. So skip count will again become 2. Okay. But skip count here is 2 skip count here is 2 so total skip count has become 4 okay next come 1 so 1 is less than 5 so the stack will become 5 1 and in the end sum of all the skip counts that is 2 plus 2 4 we have returned as the output this was the entire question so if you will go into the inside the story the things will become very complicated but try to understand the conditions and just focus on the simple language of the code i hope this question and the approach is clear to you approach is straightforward we will be using a stack and we will be checking the current element whether it is greater than the top of the stack or not. If it is greater, we will simply remove the element and we will do count plus plus. Else, we will just add that element in the stack. This is simple. So I hope this thing is clear to you. Now let's just quickly move towards the coding part of this question. Okay, so guys, now see. Since only one week is remaining for your preparation, so what is the best way for your preparation? So it is by solving the previous year questions. I have discussed the updated exam pattern earlier also in which it is clearly stated that in technical assessment, coding questions, SQL question, web based question and based on your cluster MCQs will be asked. So if I will show you the sample that in this particular preparation material, what all things we have. So if I will open this cognizant SQL PDF, you will see that we have the actual previous year question. We have the actual schema. And we have the correct query for it. Okay. If you have 30 SQL questions for every question, you will find that we have the proper question. We have the proper schema and we have the correct query for it. On YouTube, you will find a lot of resources. But in some resources, question will be missing or either schema will be missing or either the correct query will be missing. So in this particular material for SQL, you can see we are giving the everything to you. Okay. Similarly, for the coding PDF, if you will see, we have the actual screenshot for the coding question that was asked previously in Cognizant. And we have the correct code for it, which will pass all the tests that, that will be given to you. This code is just for the reference purpose. You can use on your own logic also. But you can just see that in this material, we have the previous year actual question screenshot and the code for your reference. Okay. Similarly, for the web development PDF also that you will be getting, we have the exact question here. 
okay then we have the html code and the javascript code also given below okay so so best way to prepare is by solving the previous year questions only so if you think that this material can help you print preparation which according to me it will so you can check out the links are in the description box okay so now let's continue with the video okay so guys for saving time i have already written the code here so you can see here we have an array and the length of the array as input so we have first form a stack of type integer okay we have a count variable let's take count variable only so count variable is zero we will be iterating over each and every element that is there in the array we will check while loop because i have told you if the current element till the time the current element is greater than the top of the element or top of the stack we will keep on removing the elements from the stack and we will keep on incrementing the total count okay so see till the time stack is not empty and the current element is greater than the stack dot peak stack dot stack dot peak means the top value okay till the time this is happening so we are simply doing count plus plus and we are popping that element from the stack okay we are po popping that element from the stack till the time this is happening once this condition is over we are simply pushing the current element inside the stack and we will be doing same thing for each and every element that we are iterating once the for loop is over we have our count variable with us that how many skip beating happened and we'll simply return count from here okay so this was the example that is given to us so let's just quickly run this example and see that value 4 comes or not so let's just see yeah so answer is coming as 4 let's just take one more example of 1 2 3 4 okay let's just take a descending order 3 2 1 so 3 2 1 it is a descending order so in this case what will happen answer should come out to be as 0 answer should come out to be zero yeah so answer is coming out to be zero if we take one two three one two three if we will take this then the answer should come out to be i guess it should come out to be two so let yeah so answer is coming out two so this particular code will pass all the test cases that will be given to you i hope this code and the questions approach is clear to you okay so now let's quickly move towards the second question of this video okay so guys the question second question is you are given a string s consisting of lowercase english letters and digits only where the letter represents items and the digit represents the packaging lines you have to count how many items are wrapped by the packaging lines but it means how many letters have a digit on the left and a digit on the right in the string your task is to find and return an integer value representing the number of items wrapped in the packaging line so see the question is really simple but it is given so you will be given an input string that will be containing only small letters and digits so first example is 1a 2b 3c 4d and 5 so what does the digit represent digit represents the packaging line digit represents the packaging line so these are packaging lines so you have to find and this alphabet represents the item you need to find that how many items are there which are surrounded by the packaging lines surrounding my packaging line means that left element is also a digit and right element is also a digit just left and just right so in this case you can see this a in the left also there is a digit in the right also there is a digit so this is one next is b in the left also there is a digit there, and the right also there is a digit so this is two c left also there is a digit right also there is a digit so it is three next is d right also there is a digit and left also there is a digit so it is four so total count is four inside here so you can see here let's just see the second example the things will become more clear so let me just zoom this in if i can uh yeah so see five double a r t six i seven i o eight zero five zero five six so basically we need to find all those uh, uh letters whose are which are on the left also there is a digit on the right also there is a digit so you can see here i S left also six is there right also digit is there so i is one of the digits next come c o left also there is a digit right also there is a digit next come again o left also digit right also just left and just right also digit so three so total output is three so this is what this question is and it's a very simple and straightforward question that can be asked from you what is the approach of this question it's sim as simple as that that we will iterate over the input string we will iterate over the input string for every for every character 
for every lower case english alphabet that is from a to z if this is the current character is this from small a to small z we will check that minus 1 index should be a digit and plus 1 index should be a digit if this condition satisfied then we will do count plus plus then we will do count plus plus if we are on the again i am repeating if we are on the current uh, alphabet okay it's a small a small case alphabet we will check whether minus 1 index should be a digit and plus 1 index should be a digit and if that condition satisfies we will do count plus plus it's that simple so now let's just quickly move towards the coding part of this question for saving time i have already written the code so you can see here this is the function that i am implementing so string s is coming as input count we need to initialize with zero so we are started iterating the string okay now one thing to note here is we will not iterate the string from zeroth index till n minus one index where n minus one is the length of the string we will iterate the string from first index till n minus two because see for every character that is lower case in nature we need to check minus one index and plus one index if if we are on the zeroth index how we will check minus one index because it will give index out of bound ex exception similarly if we are on the last character how we will check plus one index it will again give us the uh, in, uh, index array out of bound ex exception okay so that therefore the iteration will happen between the first index and the second last index so you can see here the iteration is happening from the first index till the second last index for every character we will first check whether the caret i minus 1 is a digit okay and the current character is lowercase okay between a to z and the plus 1 caret plus 1 is also a digit all these three conditions should satisfy if all these three conditions are satisfying we are doing count plus plus it's that simple again i'm repeating the current character should be a lowercase character english alphabet minus 1 character should be a digit plus 1 character should be a digit and in that case we will do count plus plus and once this for loop is over in the end we will return this count value so this is the input string that we are giving and if i will run it it should return 3 as the answer okay we will check other inputs as well so yeah, yeah 3 is coming as answer so we will check 1 a 2 b 3 c 4 d and 5 here so yeah let's just check it answer should come out to be 4 here in this case so yeah answer is coming out to be 4 so guys again this question will also pass all the text that will be given to you i hope both the questions that i've discussed in this video are clear to you if you want more such videos or for any other company or for any other section please write in the comment section that what you are expecting on this channel i will be happy to make those videos and as i have discussed before make sure to hit that like and subscribe button for this channel because continuously we will be posting videos on cognizant hiring and for different different companies and also if you want to practice more and more questions previous years you can check out this preparation material which content contains actual questions that were asked previously in cognizant whether they were coding sql web development or mcqs for different different cluster all those questions we have gathered here so if you are interested in this material you can check out the links are in the description box as well as in the pinned comment and do join this channel group it's dedicated for 2026 batch students thank you for watching this video